Welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. Ross Everett. In terrifying and disgusting news, Japanese researchers have revealed the first cyborg cockroaches. Why? Why is that a thing? I know, right? Japan. Oh. Yeah. Japanese researchers at Osaka and Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology, you know, those sex pots, well, they have co-developed a fuel cell that could be used to create a wireless sensor network comprised of a league of gross, 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 self-powered high-tech cockroaches. Mmm. The researchers have found immense successes in controlling the battery-operated roaches and using them as sensors. Why, you might ask? I would. I would ask that. Yeah. Well, how about the luxury of flying cyborg insects that will create a wide area sensor network that'll eliminate the need to deploy many wireless sensor networks and be able to get into dangerous areas? Ooh, super future stuff. Super future stuff. Also, making the movie Bugs in real life. I think you mean ants. A bug's life. Oh. <laughs> or how about the fact that insects are everywhere and these crazy Japanese researchers have found a way to turn the insects trehelos or sugar into fuel which generates electricity for the cyborg bug to work. So instead of sending in the drones, we're going to be sending in the bugs. Yep. And to be honest, it's super cool if you think about it. I mean, sure, it's still in the beginnings of development and there's still a few kinks to work out, you know, mainly uh, the fact that they can't really control the cockroaches because they have a mind of their own, apparently. Oh, that little thing. Yeah. yeah. And also the fact that anyone near them will more more than likely just take them out with their shoe. Hundreds of thousands of dollars <laughs> in technology. <laughs> ah, ah, oh god! Ah. But still all in all pretty cool. So guys, what would your cyborg bug sidekick be? Yeah, I asked that question. Let us know in the comment section down below. And of course, click like and subscribe. Click this annotation. Head on over to sourcefed.com. I'm Lee Newton. I'm that Ross idiot's Everett. Ross Everett. Hi. <laughs> Mine would be voiced by Woody Allen. Really? Yeah, I just he did a little nebbish. What's this, a crumb? I gotta carry this back to my hole? Like, this is a ridiculous thing. I'm just a small little ant. This crumb's like 13 times the size of my body, and I have very little upper body strength. My intersects are. I'd are, squash that bug. I'd, uh, what? What? Just because that's ant. That's ant. That's ant Semitic. Okay. Damn. <laughs>